So, you want to create a gaming thumbnail. Well, you've come to the right place. Hey guys, welcome back to I'm Kai, and today we are back once again taking a look at what I just said. It's been a while. We haven't done this in a little bit of time. Open up a new canvas that is 1920 pixels by 1800 pixels, 1080 pixels, sorry, uh, which is full HD, of course. And then we're going to go ahead and actually, I'm going to drag in my picture of, uh, of a character here, which is Octane from Apex Legends. I'm going to go ahead and grab this guy, and I'm going to kind of. Uh, base the, the the thumbnail around this character so maybe i don't know you maybe you're playing some video games i don't know what you're doing um this uh, these kind of you know techniques work for anything of course but um we're gonna go ahead and just scale him up using this little scale tool and just scale him up like that um and make sure you drag from the corner not from the top and make sure this uh, little chain is connected so it doesn't like you know d distort or something all right so we have him over there which is nice we have a nice character uh which is very easily recognizable by people um, I'm going to go ahead and add in a background. So in the background layer, I'm going to go ahead and grab the fill tool and grab a color here. I'm going to change this color to like a dark bluish color like this, which looks nice with the, with the green. So something like that. Hit OK. Um, and then put the fill tool in there. And then we go, we're, there we go. We got something that looks good. Now the edges of this character don't exactly look the best because, it, it, you know, it's, it's just a transparent image off Google, you know what I mean? But we're going to go ahead and fix that in a little bit. We have a couple of options we can do with this, but um, you can either go around and just like take this tool and then just you know cut all this out and whatever else just like as if it wasn't a transparent picture to begin with you can do that and then you know come back around hit enter and then delete and then hit select none and you can do that for the whole thing uh you can go around and do that or what i want to do is going to kind of make it not really matter too much in the first place so um we don't have to worry about that now i'm gonna create a new layer above the background layer by hitting this little button right here and hitting okay and then we're gonna go ahead and go to the brush tool here Grab that color and then just lighten it a little bit, just a little tiny bit, right? Like that. Hit OK. Make the brush size way bigger like that. And then we're just going oh, to even, even bigger. And then we're just going to go ahead and click in a couple of random places and give a kind of like um, pattern like this, I suppose. Just so it's not like super the same color, right? Something like that, which looks really good. I like that quite a bit. All right. Now we go ahead and add a new layer once again and then make the brush size smaller. And then make this color even brighter. And then behind Octane, behind our character here, we're going to go ahead and just click a couple of times and make him a little bit brighter around the edges of where he's at, right? Which looks really good. So just don't, you don't, you don't want to click and drag because it's going to make a hard edge like that. Just like click a couple of times like this, you know, just around. There we go. I like it. I like it. Looks nice. All right, there we go. Cool. So now uh, what I want to do after this is we're going to go ahead and... Yeah, there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and actually start putting in some a little, a little bit of text. But first, I want to actually go ahead and make our character uh, a little bit better colored. So we're going to go ahead and grab our, color, our character, go to Colors, Curves, pull this up, pull the top up a little bit and pull the bottom down a little bit so that you get a little bit of contrast in there, which looks much better. Hit OK. And then go to Colors, Hue and Saturation, and then just bump the saturation up a little bit because um, this is, is, after all, a gaming thumbnail. It needs to be nice and bright and vibrant. Um, I'm also going to do the same thing with the background. So grab the background color, Colors, Saturation, saturate a little bit, tiny, a tiny bit more. Okay, and now we have something like this, which looks really good. Now, um, for the rest of what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and add in some text. So we'll go ahead and drag open a text box here. Drag this open, and this this could say anything. I'm just gonna I'm gonna type in um, Octane. Um, I think we're gonna do three layers of text here. So I'm gonna bump this up to 200, maybe more than that, 220 or something like that, somewhere around that. Um, Octane, and then we're going to do the bottom one's going to be game. And then we'll just bump this up a little bit like that. There we go. And the, the uppermost layer will say insane like that. All right. So it says insane octane game, which is nice. Looks good. Looks cool. There you go. I like it. Um, we'll pull that over like that. Pull it up a little bit. Actually, I'll pull these down be honest with you all right so now we have of course these text layers underneath the character so now it looks um you know a little a little you know three-dimensional or whatever you want to say it looks nice um there we go all right cool so i'm going to change these colors of course because they're not you know standing out enough so i'm going to change these to green like this because octane's color is green as you can tell um which looks really good very nice and bright and vibrant so you can see what's going on um now i want to go ahead and with our character I'm going to go above him, hit OK, add a new layer, 
right click our characters layer so uh, right click him and then uh go to new layer group drag octane inside of that group and the layer we just created make sure that layer is e above the octane and now with the brush tool i'm going to grab a green color and then just kind of paint on this side of octane over here like this giving like a green kind of glow and then we're going to put that mode up here on overlay now you can see this makes a nice little green overlay over top of uh, his body which looks really good like the green is kind of spilling over I'm gonna turn it down a little bit like that there we go looks good looks nice and cool um, you can change the font of course by going over here and hitting this little button right here and changing to any font you have installed on your computer um, I think I'm just gonna leave it to the font that we have because this font I like this font and fits for what we're using um, yeah it's called what is it called I forget what it's called called Karasuma Gothic Heavy but anyway um, yeah, so that's that. I, I enjoy this quite a bit. Now, you can, of course, add other things, like you can add a little skull icon over here, um, just grabbing some of those things, or you can just make them, really. But, um, but yeah, so this is pretty much basically all that I would do. I'm going to go ahead and grab Octane, uh, uh, and then we're going to, real quick, uh, on the outside, we're going to grab this little fuzzy select tool, and on the outside, we're going to click and drag down. So click on the outside of him, not in him like this. On the outside of him, click and drag down until all of the edges are kind of selected i can drag down like that and then on this side same thing and then in any of the crevices where it maybe didn't get so right there as well then it delete and you can see that it does a pretty good job of getting rid of all of those weird little artifacts up all around him which looks really nice um and now i'm going to duplicate octane once again and then uh the second version of him we're going to go ahead and go to filter blur Gaussian blur and then we can we can just go ahead and blur him as much as we want but what I'm gonna do first is go to layers layer to image size so it's not clipping anything um, then go to uh, reshow Gaussian blur and then just bump the uh, blur size up Then we can just duplicate it a couple times like that maybe blur this out a little bit more like that but yeah so that's pretty much all that I would do uh, this looks really good I like it a lot so the fact the final thing I want to go ahead and grab um, Octane select all of him and then go to select grow maybe by 10 pixels and then uh, go to our text and hit delete on all of these so that it kind of has a nice little outline you can see around the edges there so it kind of like gives a little bit of separation now of course you can't edit the text anymore so make sure that you uh, you you have what it want what you want it to say um, but yeah so we can also do that a different way we can instead of deleting anything we can go ahead and actually create a new layer put it underneath all of octane's layers and then just grab that same blue color that the background is and then hit fill and then fill it in like that um but yeah so it'll do some kind of weird stuff with the green but actually looks kind of good as well so you can do either one it doesn't really matter it creates just separation which is nice um and then finally i'm gonna go ahead and actually uh go to edit copy visible edit paste as new layer in place move that above everything that we just made duplicate it once right click duplicate we're going to actually scale it up a little bit. By holding that control, you can scale it in the center instead of scaling it off to the side like that. Hold down control, scale it up a little bit. Rotate it a little bit like that, just so it's a little more dynamic. Um, and then duplicate it again. Filters, Gaussian blur, up to like 50%, I suppose. Okay. Mode, overlay. And then we're going to go ahead and turn this down. Right there, like to 50%. And then we're also going to go to layers, transparency color of alpha and then get rid of all of the black color so we're just going to select black and then hit okay and then hit okay so now we have this which looks much brighter and nicer which looks really cool um but yeah this is just some things that i do just like as final you know process kind of things um but yeah so it's just super super simple just it's character based it um it's very like like i said very simple very easy to do and of course all of these steps are optional you don't have to do any of these like i said but yeah i want to go ahead and one real quick copy visible paste add new layer in place and then i want to actually darken it a little bit no darken it a little bit with curves because it is kind of bright so do something like that yeah there we go all right cool so that's going to be pretty much it for what i like to do um and uh yeah that's that's this is the gaming thumbnail that i would definitely use that i would definitely make but uh but yeah hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it i will see you in the next one but until then bye bye